And welcome to Smash Rider. Ah, the holiday season's never gonna fucking end! No, it's not. It seems like it's been a long, long day. And we're still kicking off the holiday season with another <laughs> original... Halfway through this holiday season, burn it down. <laughs> we're kicking <laughs> off another exciting episode of Original versus... But it's not exciting this time around. <laughs> no, maybe not. This might be our <laughs> shortest one. After just two months ago, we did the longest <laughs> one. Um, today, we are going to talk about Black Christmas, which had... There was three of them. 74, 06, and 2019. Please, folks, do not watch these all three in a row. <laughs> we recommend, you know, maybe like seven years in between <laughs> each film. That might actually be wise. <laughs> seven years. Let yourself forget about the one you watched and then watch the remake. You go, oh, there's another one. Okay, I got it. That's cool. Yep. And then skip to the next one seven years later. Go, wait, <laughs> there's another one. Ugh. This is the opposite of the invasion. Because the invasion was fun. There are four really good movies. Yeah. This is three really bad movies. And you gotta, we gotta pick the best of the worst. Yes. <laughs> All right, so we start off with seventy four. Seventy four. It's um a guy named Billy. 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 <laughs> Billy. 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 What? Billy. Uh, tormenting the sorority house. It, when the movie starts, they get the phone call from someone they call the owner. This <laughs> yeah. is. Uh, this has clearly been going on for this house for a while now. And we meet the uh, cast of characters, and right when we get in, Claire gets taken out by Billy. <laughs> Billy? Billy? Just do that for 20 minutes and go home. <laughs> <Call it laughs> I'll do that. We're just going to replay Billy? 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 Good night, Billy. <laughs> Billy? <laughs> but uh, she gets killed by Billy and uh, like suffocated with shrink wrap and stuck in a rocking chair in the attic. We drop in on her from time to time. <laughs> She's not going anywhere. <laughs> the character that did we drop in <laughs> with her from time to time. But uh, our main character is um, Jess, who's going through a dilemma right now. She's been she's pregnant. She's going to get an abortion. The boyfriend is not happy about it. So fuck that guy. We're not going to talk about. We're not going to get political here. No. I'll just say fuck that guy and move on. Okay. What guy wanted like oh freedom again? Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> no, he's like, no, because he's a good religious boy. Get out of here. You had fucking unprotected <laughs> sex. That's a sin already. To be You're fair, good. that does not mean anything. Like the broken condom pills don't work 100% of the time. That does not mean unprotected. True, but he still wasn't married. So he's already a sinner. <laughs> oh, yeah, like you are. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm not going to fight for one argument when there's another one, but go on. Um, yeah, we're not going to get political here. I'll just say fuck that guy and we'll move on. Pretty much. Uh, as it goes on, Billy starts taking out more and more of them, really focusing down on Jess. And um, <clears throat> as the police are getting involved and is trying to help her, they manage, oh, she manages to keep him on the phone long enough to get a track. And they realize the call is coming from inside the house. What? To be fair, that was probably shocking back then. I don't think that is true. Call, I don't think a stranger call came out yet. No, that is true. So this was like a shocking revelation back in then. And uh, we see Billy's eye. <laughs> we never see Billy. And she like that is true. Billy she, was always a secret. It's great that she like feigns she doesn't see him and then kicks the door in his face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, she makes it out. And they find the bodies and everything, except for the two that's hidden in the attic. And they put her to sleep, and they leave a guy outside, and you hear Billy's voice up the stairs, and you hear the phone ringing. Well, it's implied that her asshole boyfriend, she she starts to get to imply that it is that he's Billy, because it's I kind don't of, think he's Billy, I think. No, but it's... She, they hint at it, and that she believes it could be him. Yeah, because then, like, even though... When she got the when Jess got the information that the call was coming from within, because she she defended her boyfriend that he's not Billy, he can't be there. But when they told her that the call is coming from inside, and the only other person in the house that she knows, knows of, yeah, was her boyfriend, and then it starts to add up that 
you know, when she got off the phone call with Billy the one time, he was coming down the steps. Like, it started to add up where he could be it. And as the audience, with you never seeing his face. Yeah, but we know it's not. Yeah. But uh, it she leaves it up in the air on whether or not Jess is safe at the end of this movie. Well, she's not safe, but we don't know if she's alive or not. Right. Okay, here's my big problem. Why did no one check the attic? Why did the cops not go upstairs into the attic? It's not like it was a hidden they door. They did, yeah. They did an extremely poor investigation. Honestly, that part kills me every time with this movie. It's like, why the fuck did no one go into the attic? Check the house. Wait, the whole house? Yes, the whole house. I can't go up there. I have to reach up and grab the rope. Like, <laughs> what the fuck's going on here? You're a fucking cop. You will reach for that rope, and you will go up there, and you will look. Movie over. <laughs> I, I do like the fact that you had Alice's, uh, uh, Claire's dead body rocking in the rocking chair, like looking down on them from above. <laughs> but uh, no, this pad, this is so boring. The fuck the boyfriend. That's all I got to say about this movie. No, I know it's inspirational. Like this is this predates Michael in the oh, slasher yeah. genre. This, they're classifying this like the that, movie society is giving like not reviewing it, yeah. but it's a claim. Post home, uh, uh, after the fact kind of deal. Yeah, like they're giving this all this recognition as like the first slasher. It's like, one of the greatest horror movies. I don't agree with that. At no, all. If you want to give it credit, like maybe jump starting a slasher, sure, okay, because it doesn't have to be good. It's just it did. Yeah. Um, I, I was going to do this remake versus original like three years ago when I got really sick. And then I watched That's because you movies. watched them back to back. <laughs> oh, it didn't help that. It did not help my uh, my mood when I was already sick. Is this sick the flu watched... or is it because of the mood? <laughs> <laughs> did not help my mood at all when I watched these movies back to back and was sick on top of it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, six. Oh, six. So we give. Billy some backstory here. We give and Billy we, a twisted backstory. And we obviously have a fan of Sin City. Because <laughs> <laughs> the yellow bastard is in this movie. You're right. Because <laughs> no, at least they gave him a fucking um, a, you know, he had a what, liver? Yeah, was, and he was yellow. Yeah, just like <laughs> Just like yellow bastard from Sin City. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with John. <laughs> uh, then why, why else make him yellow? Why the fuck else would you make him yellow other than the fact that you like the yellow bastard? I guess. I Because there's no other reason. So, okay, so they, they gave... They gave Billy, Billy this a, weird backstory of, like, this mother and they his, killed her, his dad and she moved, was a moved her boyfriend in. Then he couldn't give her a baby, so she... She raped, raped Billy. Raped Billy. And Billy's sister is his daughter, too. Yeah, Agnes. Yeah. And it turns out, then you jump ahead of time because he gets arrested for killing his mom and the boyfriend and baking their flesh in the cookies. <laughs> why to any of this? I don't know. Then why to any of this? They could have gave his backstory a hundred and different other... Um... Like you're just being gross just to be gross. Yeah. Like, I think that's because I'm I'm still making up my mind as we talk about this. I think the overboard in his backstory is in my mind right now. It's going to make or break this film. There was this backstory. The the one shining thing you can say about the seventy four one we didn't grade it by the way. <laughs> well, we'll grade as um as we pick our winner and losers. Uh, is that you didn't know Billy? It was a sequel. There was nothing yeah. about him. Here it's like we're going to give you everything you want about Billy. Here's some more. Here's some human flesh cookies. I didn't want that. <laughs> like, we're going to give you this? more about Billy, but then we're going to give you more, yeah. more about Billy. But then you get into the sorority thing. And you, I don't, if this was supposed to be a surprise, it wasn't that good of a surprise. It was Agnes calling from the inside of the house. And Billy hadn't gotten there yet. And Agnes is really the one taking everybody out. I do like the scenes like when they're in the walls. And they're like being chased through the inside walls kind of deal. Yeah. That was fun. The false walls. Uh, Mary Elizabeth Wine said needed more time. But, uh, <laughs> my favorite actress is going today. But, uh, that's just, this movie's just gross. Yeah, I mean, and, you know, you get the same 
I, I that's the same thing. Yeah. Then you get a scene at you get an extra scene at the hospital where two of them make it out and the one likable character dies. <laughs> but that time Billy, because yeah, because Agnes got killed. Agnes is killed. Agnes is still alive at the hospital. She is. Yes, she's the one who gets she gets taken out with the defibrillator. Oh, but but then Billy finished up. Yeah, Billy gets killed after that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the yellow bastard. <laughs> the remake with the Leo Bastard. Oh, okay. 2019 now. Go fuck yourself. It's just, no. Okay, I'm gonna, we were talking about this a little bit. And I know this is the one everyone hates because it's one of the feminist agenda in this movie and everything. They, they go hard on that. But they take that from 74. Yeah. 74 I- is just more subtle. And they, and they go away from the Billy theme. Yeah, they go away from Billy. But I'm talking like, the the thing that gets panned about it is the feminist agenda in this movie. But like, they do take that from 74. Because the feminist agenda is still there in 74. It's the uh, pro-choice and pro-life with Jess. Right. And you get the fact that this guy is... Uh, these phone calls are kind of fucking horrible. I had the subtitles on. <laughs> They're fucking horrible. What did that guy say yeah. on that phone? Jesus Christ. And like... And the thing about 2019, 2019 could be a really great movie if it wasn't Black Christmas. If you removed the title Black Christmas and gave it something else, I don't think anyone would have a problem with 2019. And I think it's suffering from a Doom problem. If you didn't give the Rock's Doom movie Doom, you wouldn't have a problem. Yeah. But you gave this movie Black Christmas. So you think, think the worst the part would be was the title? Yeah. Because then it's like you added that supernatural element. Yeah. And that's really not this. That's not these movies. Even like 26, uh, 2006 one. It's still a slasher at heart. It's just weird and gross. It's mm-hmm. like, it was like they did this in West Virginia or something. Yeah. <laughs> like, and that's, that's like, not a knock against what, it's just a, a stereo. Because like, the, like I said, the elements they pull from for this is like the uh, protecting the rape culture of the fraternity house and the fact of victimizing this fraternity and the cops yeah. aren't listening to them. That is real life issues that right. still go on. It's just if you didn't call it Black Christmas you wouldn't have a problem. This runs into an issue of it being under Black Christmas. Because yeah you're taking so it says the, you know, the first thing off the bat that I know is that they took away the Billy element. Yeah. And I'm like Billy! <laughs> Billy! Billy! <laughs> Right. Like, okay, mm-hmm. I, I get that, um, and that's why it's not good. Not good movie because you you have it under Black Christmas. When you take on a movie and you're remaking it, even if it's in a light way, like a gentle way, you still have to pull elements out of it. You didn't pull the only element you pulled was the subtle element from '74 that you badgered people with, and it shouldn't be badgered. It should be taken seriously as a problem. Right. But you gave it to Black Christmas, which means you come with rules. Yeah. See, so they shot themselves in the foot before they even got out of the gate. Right. Yeah, this is this was tough. He like says, please don't watch these back to back to back, no matter how much time you have on your hands. So first, let's go ahead and give them grades. Now, I'm assuming... Yeah, when we take our minuses across the board. <laughs> wow, I really don't like them. They each have certain things that you can tap it, pull out, and be fine with. You know what? I'm going to look at the '74 one, and I, I I think I'm going to agree with the C. I do felt like it. I get all the historical things that they added after the fact to make it look good. To make it sound like this movie is better than what it was. But at the end of the day, it might have been one of the first slasher films or the first slasher yeah. film. It had a lot of work ahead of it still. Yeah. It um it had a, you know, John Saxon in it. Um Olivia Hussey. Yeah. Um but it was just not enough. I did like the the idea of Billy Billy actually Barely. 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 I like the fact that he was more of a mystery. He never got to see his face. Something obviously we see in the later uh, slasher films. So it, it stayed true to that. Um, so I'm giving it a C. The 06 one. The Yellow Bastard edition. 
Mary Elizabeth Weinstead, for me, is why it's good to see minus. But I, I just have your favoritism. <laughs> you know what? I, I'm, I'm still going back and forth. How the over the top Billy story is probably too much for my life. Yeah, too much backstory. Like we don't need all of this. You overloaded it. I'm probably going to give this one a D because of that. It started off on the right track, like giving him, giving us some details about Billy. Great, giving us too much details, and then, like this, I feel like this was directed by Rob Zombie. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if they were trying to follow suit. Like it was obviously Sin City thing, Yellow Bastard, right there. Right. Um, I mean, I know Halloween King. I do like the wall scene being chased through the wall, and yeah, it. it I mean, I feel like the overall cast is is that more better. gory. But oh, I do like the controversy around this movie. Oh six. Yeah, there's a controversy around this movie. What was it? They released it on Christmas Day. That is not yeah. controversial. The Christians, that... the Christians lost their fucking mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, I. <laughs> that, will... That's not a controversy. That's the movie I want to see on Christmas normally. <laughs> but uh, that's not a controversy. That's just you being wires. Overall, <laughs> though, I, I think that the, just the Billy was too much. Billy. Really? Um, so. The 2019? The 19. F. That's my grade. I'm not. If it wasn't Black Christmas, this would not have gotten the hate it doesn't have. So. It's you, not great, but. You gave it C's across C the board. C minuses across the board. Um, so. I'm going to go my winner. Honestly, it's, it's a. It's like a dim light in a complete dark tunnel. Um, the 74. That's my Yeah, I'm giving 74. You're going 74 as well? Yeah, might as well. Good, because the originals <laughs> needed a... Who would have thought this was probably the worst original film we've had to watch? That's not true. Wait, which one? Gone in 60 seconds. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But the team originals needed two good victories, and it comes at the hands of uh, Black Black Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> That is... Take it where you can, I guess. Good I'll be honest. I will never watch these films. No, I'm done. I'm moving on. I uh, didn't even want to watch it this time. <laughs> 06, I watched twice. Nin uh, 19, I watched twice, too, but I didn't finish it because I just got sick of it. 74, I watched once. That's enough. That is enough. I don't even want to give it six watches total with three films. That's how bad but this was. Girl Power and Horror 2 is weird because... That is horror. Final <laughs> Girl is a trope for a reason. Yeah. Ah. Uh, we we don't have a we don't have a next month. Yeah, one. we do. Which one? Doom. 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 There's two of them. There are two of them. Be angry with me, Polly. Be angry. The with me. the rock. When's, what's the other one? Oh, uh, it came out like 2018. I thought that was more of like a soft it's sequel. Bad. <laughs> oh god, there's Alright, so next edition will be um Doom. Doom yeah, I mean, put some chest Doom Oh god, <laughs> don't do that. Alright guys Doom um, with an M, not Dune. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time. Bye bye. -bye.